Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 33 of Atlas Hopping in Sansar with Barry and Drax. As you can see, we are already um, in Sansar uh, and we are about to, we're actually all sitting, well, not all of us, the ones who are in desktop mode are sitting down right now. Um, this was added last week, the sit mode, and I'll just uh, show you where I'm sitting right here. I'm sitting right over here and the others are sitting. You can just hit forward slash SIT, sit, and it works. Um, I hope you guys can hear me. I'm going to turn the volume on right now. I had the volume off because I wanted to introduce, and I think Drax is talking. Your left, you left handed? <laughs> okay, well, talking. welcome everybody. Is there anybody new here that I haven't seen? I don't see any names. Can you just, everybody just say your name? Because I think there's a glitch with names right now. I, I don't see the names. Well, I'm seeing them. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing them. Seeing them. I'm seeing them. I'm seeing Everybody them too, Everybody say their name. Everybody who wants to use voice, say their name. Who are you people? I'm Strawberry Singh. Saying... I, I, I know who you are. I'm the human that may take VR mainstream at last. <laughs> <laughs> Investors, welcome. <laughs> I hear Chris's voice. <laughs> I'm Urban, Urban Magi. Urban <laughs> Magi! I'm oh, here. I haven't seen you in a while. And you, I'm Sophia so Vesta. Oh, we have a new person, Ebby. We could introduce him around. Right. <laughs> no, I've seen that guy with his rainbow shirt. He never <laughs> washes it. He wears it like all day long. Hi, Ebby. Hi, Ebby. How are you? Ebby, did you hear about the sport that will take VR mainstream? <laughs> okay, let's stop that. Strawberry, what are we doing today? We are visiting the museums of Sansar. Why are you right, walking okay, on top so of me? <laughs> because I there's some glitch going on. I keep walking. I can't stop walking. <laughs> <laughs> or talking. <laughs> well, somebody needs to talk. There's <laughs> another glitch that's a feature. You know, this talking, they take VR mainstream, I heard, somewhere. Because <laughs> it's a feature. Is talking a killer app? Talking. Is the killer app absolutely, and the other killer app is museums where absolutely nothing is happening, and people just stand around and look at pictures. And that's what we're doing today just stand around and look. At... <gasps> is this worthy? Oh my god, we got the biggest crowd! <sighs> yeah, prepare for Sons Art Crush. No, no, okay. What's the first museum that, museum that we should go to, guys? And, you know, the reason for these museums, let me say two things real quick, and I know everybody goes like, oh, here he goes in 30 minutes, we're still standing here. <laughs> um, so, Ryan, oh, Ryan's thoughts? back. Hey, Ryan. Just as oh, weird. Hey, how's it going? So, a couple of things. Somebody asked about the houses. The houses have been given away for, for rent, so this is kind of an experiment. Rag from Rag VR is building the interiors. I think all the interiors should be linked to the exteriors. I'm not sure if the teleports work yet. Rag is very busy, so that will take a few more weeks, but then you will be able to go to the houses. People will live there. People will decorate uh, the houses. Daisy has a house. There's a bunch of people here um, who, who have the houses. Solus, his car is part of Strawberry has a house. And uh, we may extend the houses if there is interest further down the street. So we're going to have more houses. But basically, it, it takes a little longer than anticipated because Reg is super busy. And we're, we have... There's a lot of ambition. We want to have different houses. Right now, we only have three templates, but we're going to have unique houses, uh, unique interiors for every house. Sounds cool? Yeah, let's go. Nobody, is, nobody <laughs> says anything. That's why I'm talking, because I learned on YouTube, you know, watching, oh, no. like, YouTube shows. That, this isn't <laughs> that, YouTube. Oh, it isn't? Oh. <laughs> I thought we're live on YouTube. Are we not, Strawberry? I'm live. I don't know about you. Sansar, but I'm, I'm not sure. It could Jax? also be called YouTube. Will there be homeowners <laughs> association and rules you have to follow? Well, first of all, there will be a home a homeowners association fee oh. because. Oh no! Right, as you know, I mean. <laughs> okay, I'm giving back my house. Virtual. <laughs> the killer app of virtual reality is the Ponzi <laughs> aspect of it. <laughs> Let's be real. Uh, <laughs> So the that will take the R mainstream. Yes, strawberry. We're gonna go to Safia's <laughs> place first. 
Yes. Okay. Safia is here, and I love Safia's place. And today we're going to museums because sometimes you read. Um, there was a bunch of articles out there, and the virtual reality group on Facebook uh, triggered by a, a person that is known that I don't respect him very much. He has sort of a tabloid press thing going on with uh, Second Life and Other Worlds has stipulated that nothing is going on in Sansar and blah, blah, blah. And then everybody sort of piled on top and said, oh, there's only museums. You can only look at stuff. You can't do anything. And I read that and I go like, you know, what's wrong with a museum? Matter of fact, uh, there's wonderful museums here of, of very, very different kinds of museums. And they're all user made. So I want today's show, I want to show that there's absolutely nothing wrong with using VR to build museums and to share that and create a sense of space, even if you just, quote unquote, just display paintings, for instance, right? Doesn't even have to be interactive, although we will go to some interactive museums. Okay, so first one, we're gonna go to Minimalism, which is built by Safia, who is over here. God, my left controller, I keep repeating. I apologize, my left controller's battery, I think it's dead. Here we go. Wolfie has number. shared the link in the it? chat. Wolfie, and head tip to Wolfie, by the way, because Wolfie so alerted me to a uh, to an article about Hover Derby, the game that will take VR mainstream, which appeared <laughs> in... <laughs> what, <Yes>. Forbes? <laughs> No, it appeared in the in the German uh, in a German uh, retailer magazine. Uh, is Ebbe Ebbe is he crashing or what's happening? Ebbe put the link in the in the in about that he, he crashed. in disc in Discord. Uh huh. About uh, I'm not following. The German retailer. Long. The German retailer was ah. Ebbe. Ah. Ebbe passed that along. Very good of him. So he may come back to Atlas something. We will have him back because he did such a nice thing. Hey, Solis. Let's go to... Solis is here. Let's go quickly. <laughs> Let's go quickly. <laughs> so bad. Yara is like middle school. Let's go. Welcome back, Ebe. Oh, here's Ebe. Ebe. We're going to minimalism. Bye. <laughs> it's a clean... So the first location we're going to is Minimalism, which is a museum in Sansar by Safia Vesta. I've shared the link in the chat. I love as well this world. The description. I love the light in this place. Oh, it's nice. Like its layout is great. It's kind of dark. This is gorgeous. I will be trying to change my batteries. We have a big, um, big plate today of different experiences. So we're going to rush them a little bit but i want everybody to take in the atmosphere and of course we're going to list this and safia asked me earlier if i would uh ask her questions live uh and safia is not a native english speaker so i didn't want to ambush her but here i'm doing it <laughs> safia i love this museum what inspired you to make it you can also type if you like. It's it's wonderful. It's it's really wonderful. So this is um, a minimalist music. We hear music by Philip Glass faintly in the background. Actually, I can. Bring oh, it's these. dark in here. Yeah. Yes, it is. Spooky. Yeah. And you, like it. you have to be also quiet. And I have to whisper because Drax yells at me. <laughs> Solas, right? Solas, I get three emails per day where people complain about you. Is Solas talking again, or do I just hear no. it in my head? I, you hear it in your head, Drax. I, I can't even go into a museum without, without our voice. Minimalims is an um, audiovisual experience. Yes. This is Safia talking. She made this. Hey, Safia. Good work. Safia, this is so inspiring. Hey. I'm sorry. It's fantastic. I speak a little English. Your English is wonderful, just like this museum. 
<laughs> Zafia, are you are you continuing this? I mean, I really this was one of the first places I I came to, and it is so awesome. And I think those three lights on the wall remind me of Spinner Cell. So. It shows that that there is a different aesthetic here in Sansa, which is kind of unique. Are are you an artist in in the physical world? Wow, look at that. Sorry. Space! Help me! <laughs> Let me use a translator. Hold on. Traducer. Traductor. Oh, that's actually an awesome Hello. idea. Safia, can you po uh, paste? Can Hello. you paste Hello. in chat? Space, space, help me. Mm. Yes. Space, space, help me. I, I don't know. Uh, saber uh, eh, si eres artista en RL también porque están no. con este trabajo. No, no. Your space. You're in there. So I, I understood that you're not an artist in the physical world. Yeah, this place is not really <laughs> <laughs> <You're devil. laughs> I, uh, I want to do uh, minimal limbs. Nice. Uh, I want to do uh, minimal arts. A gallery, yeah. uh, a gallery of minimal arts. But I don't know. What we can do here's an here's an idea, Safia. We can you can put your the Spanish into the ta into the chat, and then Galen puts it through the translator and reads it back as we're exploring the museum. Space, did you hear me? C can you translate? Yeah, I think I this would be perfect. I can do it. Let's keep going here further down the experience and you and Safia made it. Um, Can you uh, hear me? My left. Hi. Yeah, come? I can't completely translate what Zafia says. How's it going? Yeah, sometimes for non native speakers it's it's uh it's difficult. Safia, thank you very much. It's um it's yeah, very yeah, difficult so, when well, we're yeah, in a international group, but that's the wonder of a virtual yeah. world. I mean, that's yeah, really, yeah, oh, yeah. that's really the most amazing part of it. I think that we can so share beautiful. the space together. Yeah. Right, Leper? Lighting. See. <laughs> Zafia. Yeah, it is. Es See. Describe to res respuestas in espanol para nosotros okay you need to speak about it hablar en español awesome galen you're taking the lead on this perfect hello february okay alfie and, and strawberry Hello, hello, Sola. Hello, hello. Doesn't he? I love his avatar. I know, his hair is awesome. Yeah. Wild hair, man. A good handshake. Who's that? Is that Sophia? Agent M83. So Galen, if you can translate it into English, then I'll read it back uh, for the YouTube folks as well. I'll go between VR and uh, desktop. Oh, sorry. Uh, I was explaining that it's better to uh, type it because that way you can... Oh, wow. That was pretty cool. There you are, Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hi. Yeah. Why are you whispering? Hi, hi. Because it's hidden secrets. Am I too close? Yes, you're too close. 
It's pretty cool. Oh, this slows now. And this is her This is her sack. Is it treaty or trady or? Trady? Think trady as in 3D. Hi. Hi. Yeah, but next, next step, next step, uh, there's a lot to do next with IK, levels. but. <laughs> One thing we have first is to lock, is really unlock big. the spine, because right now it's really just arms and head. But next is to unlock the spine so that you can like twist and turn and then so move move down the everything the body. leads to porn. Yep. Yeah. So you can bend over and yeah, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but like when you get close to each other, you disappear. So it kind of. That's yeah, that's like, it's like a well, that's another life. thing. If, if you're friends, we we should sort of reduce that safety bubble because you should <laughs> you should be able to get close to your buddies. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you guys have a busy uh, spring summer. Hey, Kristen, nice to Black see you. Oh, it's 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 nonstop stuff. Mm -hmm. Just get to it. No sleeping. Yeah. No, I don't know if you guys remember, layer, um, layer. there was a Kirsten's oh, viewer in Second Life yeah, I just know, yeah. I know quite a few years back. It was one of my yeah, favorite viewers. Yeah, uh, so I think this is the creator of the Kirsten's viewer. It's no longer active now, so it's uh, great to see them in Sansar as well. The last week of, uh, I've learned so much. Yeah, this is my first Marvel Insider thing. I'm like, why do I look like latex? Like, I can't find the normal and the. I was, do the normal and the specular maps not go along with it? Do you have to add those separately, or I'm not sure. I think it's the opposite way around yeah. on MD. If you put white in, then it goes dull. If you put black in, it goes shiny. Oh, so turn it up to ten rather than zero. Mm hmm. Huh. I did just opposite. It's little things, you know. We seem to have lost Drax. Let's go find him. But yeah, I, ju I just made a vending machine. I'm curious about finding out what Safia's. Um... Oh, I'm sorry. Safia, Did I interrupt you? Yes, Safia you says, well, I want to continue expanding it. Mm hmm. But what is it about minimal art that that fascinates you? That's that's what's so interesting to me. Or what what does minimal art mean to you? Uh, que tiene al arte mini minimalista que te fascin fascina. <laughs> that's awesome, <laughs> Galen. Perfect. <laughs> If you're in and, desktop, you can Google Translate. And just for yeah, you, some folks, I apologize for the batteries are completely dead. No. And it's wonderful that uh, Oculus did not warn me prior. Uh oh. So we're trying to get some new batteries in while we're. And if you have any questions on YouTube, just uh, type them in. I can actually look at it right now. Well, I'm trying to get some batteries in. And I'm going to go over here to look at, uh, give the YouTube folks a little bit of a different view. All right, Drax, she says, I love making art with some, with something minimal, with very basic objects. Yeah. You know, that's wonderful, um, Safia, and I think it also speaks to what, what I really like about it, uh, that this is also mixing up that sort of ultra-realism that I think visual virtual world sometimes, you know, kind of dictate uh, implicitly by, by what's possible. And I think a true artist can sort of transcend that and doesn't fall into the trap of... Uh, you know, a true artist creates a frame and then fills that frame with what they have and doesn't get overwhelmed by all the colors. I hope this translation doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> of what you just said. Ah, there you are. Let's hope Google Chitty. doesn't jump. I was over there chitty chatty and with the, uh, hey, strawberry. the artist. Okay. Hey, Abby. Does no one here actually speak Spanish? Hi, Abby. English? Hello. 
I want to tug on that zipper right there, right? That Ravi, he's such a crazy one. Galen, follow me and let's uh, walk a little bit further and then uh, please tell me what uh, Safia said while we're looking oh, yeah, more and then... First. <laughs> okay, so now my left controller is good to go. I love your bubble gum, I want some. Oh, it's in the this store. is actually it's really cool. Friendly. Nice. <laughs> oh, you can interact with these. Strawberry, you know what was interesting? Strawberry, plan B. Yeah. As the others chat. You know what our plan B is, right? Yeah. <laughs> what was interesting? Okay. So, uh, what was so Zafia's oh, response plan was, B didn't I, work. I especially wanted to create very basic objects with a great movement with music. Yeah. This is so inspiring. It is also... Uh, I mean, it reminds me of, of Second Life in, in, in the sense that the basic objects are so instrumentally important. Yes. Yeah, Safia. Look at me. This is uh, three reference cues. Yes, three here, here. See yeah. here, the shadow. So, yeah. other shape. Yeah. They create the another shape on the floor. Yeah. That's, that is... This is all the Whoa, aesthetic is of, of Prim no. building that you brought over here. And I love that. I, if, you know, that's why I love it, I think, because it almost... Um, you know, no. you're you're go, you're continuing a tradition of basic building yeah. blocks oh, that I that is so important <laughs> in Second Life, and I think it it never ends to be important for for anything. The basic building blocks and how how they shape reality. <laughs> Look at Abby. <laughs> I know. I pray tell to you, the prim, he's like a Abby, pray to the prim. I mean that in it a very like he's good gonna, way. Looks like he's gonna run. <laughs> <laughs> run, been... Abby, run. He's been running. <laughs> Take photos, people, as we pray to the <laughs> almighty the Prim. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the victory lap. I want, yeah, exactly. I want to show, I want to show uh, 3D objects. Oh, yeah, we should cheer. Um, yeah. cheer. 2D. 3D and 2D, uh, yes. Yes, the interaction between 2D and 3D. 3D and yes. 2D. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Trading. And how, and how they interact. Very cool. Very inspiring. See, she even says Magma. my name. I don't know. Yeah. Hello. Hello. 3D. Let's keep going here, Safia. I think this Where I've never going? seen. <laughs> 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 I've been here and Strawberry I'm just going to tell your audience that I met three people this week who did come into um, Sansar and they had never heard of Ready Player One and they came straight to, to uh, 114 Harvest how did they find 114 Harvest? And here's the kicker. They liked the photo. Nice. They like where we stand on the porch <laughs> and we look out in the street. And they found that uh, in inviting. When they looked at the atlas, they found that the most inviting uh, picture. Nice. It is a nice picture of us. <laughs> Yeah, but it's so funny just with one person there. I sometimes think like, you know, how do people perceive <laughs> that picture? Like, oh, there's like... But didn't they oh, take community. another one with a bunch of people there? Uh, yeah, but there was one person who was dominating that picture and we couldn't Photoshop him out, so we got to redo it. <laughs> okay. We'll do it again. That, per that person is actually present. <laughs> <laughs> and I have absolutely no shame in calling him out. But you know what? I can I can yeah. probably Photoshop it if you want me to try. Nah, let's see what happens. We'll we'll do okay. another photo call or uh, yeah. You know. But the one oh, there, wow. the one we have there is nice too. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'm overthinking this place it. Like is huge. people. She put that in just uh, recently. I've oh. been here uh, early on, but I've never seen this. 
Oh my god. Oh. Did you see Kristen is here? Kristen Lee? Yeah. And yes, he's here. Yes, nice to he's see you both. Bit, he's got a bit ah. of problems with his mic at the oh, moment. Okay. So it's... Because this is the new edition. This is the new edition, uh, Safia. So I've never great seen to this. See you guys. I was telling Here my streamers. Oh my audience. Thank you. Yeah, I finally was this able is to awesome. drag him in. It's great. <laughs> yeah. I made with keyframes animation. Keyframe animation, yeah. What is what does that mean, keyframe animation? Um Facebook. You can animate objects with a uh, keyframe. You tell the object oh, okay. every every frame where it has to be, oh, okay. and then it loops loops that. Loops it's a video, it video editing video editing term, animation okay. term. Uh, Ev is trying to follow the ball. That's oh, good. One time I, I go into the basement yeah, and Ev was there I trying to put the receiver on the old phone and I observed him and, it, and he was there three hours later and still wasn't able to put the receiver on. <laughs> That's the day that uh, Second Life was down, right? Because <laughs> he was there for three hours. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, Second Life is now where am I going to go? Oh, yeah, I'm going to try to put the receiver on the phone and try to face me. Yeah. Oh, my God, wow. there's a big crew here. How many are we? Jeez. Furry. Well, you know, Ebe, I met three people this week um, who came 29. to Sansar and they went to Harvest because they liked the they liked the image that they saw on the atlas. They found it in, inviting that o the open street with Strawberry and me standing there. And the craziest thing was, Ebe, and I asked them, you know, did you come because you, yes. you're a fan of me, you know? And they said, well, I don't know who you are. <laughs> that was depressing. But here comes the king. I asked them, do you know who Strawberry Singh is? And they said, no. And that made me feel good again. <laughs> Actually, today the uh, Sansar Twitter account uh, tweeted this Atlas hopping, so thank you for that, Ebby. I don't know who did that. So maybe that's why I, we also got extra people. I don't know what I did. I click all the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know who runs the Sansar Twitter account, but they, they tweeted it. <laughs> that's a good description of programming, right? <laughs> Okay, Drax, you wanted to go to yep. five other places, so we should probably um, finish up here quick so we can make it to the I other... I love this so much, Safia. We'll come Zafia, <laughs> this is brilliant. It's great, yeah, Zafia. Zafia. Really great work, Zafia. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, this is cute. Chris, Masai, look <laughs> at this. I'm a star. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's pretty wow, cool. Wow, this is crazy. That's such a Alfie, sorry, you look uh, you look fantastic. I just need to uh, I need to run the sh the, the show so that we uh, I can't talk to you. We talk later privately. And and Alfie, by the way, uh, Trady is here. <laughs> I love your experience. It looks best in your experience. Masai, is that your shadow I'll send, I, I, on there? I'll send yeah. you a. Um, oh my yes, God, it is my so shadow. Cool. I love that. Oh, that's what I'm saying here. I'll send you a, a, a clip of the film. I uh, finished uh, no. it Monday. How is your shadow going on there? Yeah, I don't cool. understand how that's working. Because, you see, there's a light about me, sun. Is actually a projection exactly. Light. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. So it's projecting the texture, it's projecting the light. Okay. And then my shadow goes on top of it. They're nice. Oh, okay. I get but, it but they're nice. Cool. But they're nice well shoes. Done. Yeah. No. It's all Zafia's work. Hey, I'm like, on them. I thought you should do something. I feel like I'm a Chuck E. Cheese here. Sin, I would like you next Atlas Hopping. You're only admitted if you, if you, if you wear my signature shoes. And get Love now. Gracias for... Maybe. Uh, yes, yes. And I was speaking now. I have your picture on the bottom of my shirt. And then... <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be cool. You know, actually, now that re reminds me, what sucks is that we can't look at our own feet. That's actually something. Oh, we're yes. going to tell Ebe. 
that's our new... Where is Evan? Yeah, now that we're sitting, he can't say, don't you want to sit or do you want to do this? Exactly. exactly. <laughs> I gotta run early today. I made this. I with my wife. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> before you leave, um, thank you very much for the sitting. Um, for the sitting, that's wonderful. It only took 33 episodes of so cool. Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so for the next 33, we would like to fly, if that's cool. With everybody. No. 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 no flying? Uh, no, no. no. We need mouse over links to web pages. Mini map. Oh, mouse over links to web pages. Mini right. map. Oh. oh no, we also need a mini map. That's right. And we also need a uh, VR uh, uh, chat. I mean. Uh, no, not the yeah, yeah. We don't need them. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, chat in VR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chat in VR. You can, you can do that now. You can actually do that. In VR chat. <laughs> you can do chat in VR. Yeah. You well, you can at least see it. Yeah. If you, you hack, to. if you hack a Tommel, yeah. No, well, I wouldn't call it hacking. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's good. For next Naya, episode, we'll have you? that because that's that's the most important part that we see what people uh, chat in desktop and we can respond to. I think Drax needs yeah. a minder to tap him on the shoulder when it's time to move on. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's had many. Strawberry, strawberry, strawberry. You got to be more It's actually Ryan's job. It's hard to push him around. Ryan is not doing his job. Ryan's gone. He actually. He's in desktop. He's in desktop. No, Ryan said he logged out of sensor because he feels really sick. So, but he's just watching my stream. Somebody say Poor Ryan. Oh, oh yeah, right. If you don't know what that means, there's a meme spreading around. You have to perpetuate. I'll tweet about it later. Agree. Okay, here, quick, quick story. So you all heard about the game oh, that will uh, make VR oh, mainstream. Oh no, there he goes. Read again. about that. <laughs> I heard. I, I read wanna, it in Forbes. Yes, you read it in Forbes, right? Yes. You should also read it on the MediaMarkt.de. Yeah. No? Oh no, I missed that one. Yeah. So Ryan ran in. <laughs> and he was screaming at me live. We were live on the YouTube or whatever that is, or Twitches or whatnot. And uh, and Ryan says, "Drax, Drax, Drax, your le microphone level is too low." <laughs> you know, Ryan can hear you right now. He's watching my stream. <laughs> <laughs> we no, love but, you, you know, Ryan. We love Ryan, you, Ryan. Ryan, Ryan, we <laughs> Ryan, we totally love you. And and really, I mean, seriously, that was hilarious and awesome. And and it didn't, you know, it it it, it was no no issue here. I, I I'm not mad at you, Ryan, but. But if you do it again, uh, you know, we're talking about the game that may take the, our mainstream according to the mainstream press. So you got to really got to think before you scream. Okay, Drax, next location, yes. friends. Next location. Friends. Uh, I want to go to what? Roasted. Friends by Livio Corabase. Yeah, that's a quick one. That's a great example of architectural design with some 2D images. Let's go there. That's great. Okay, okay. I'm going to go to desktop. In the chat. Oh, thanks, Wolfie. Naya, you look spectacular. Oh, yeah, Naya does. Everybody yeah. does. I'm we are heading on over to Friends. I'm sharing the link in the chat as well. You can join us if you like. I hope you feel better, Ryan. Okay, here we are. Everybody is on top of each other. Everybody is okay. literally landing on top of each other. That's all just uh, perfect. Someone needs to stand on Gendipple's ears. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, okay. Look at this. Look at this. I just need to open my jaws. Oh, look at all the people. Stacking, oh, stacking avatars here. <laughs> look at all the people. No. I need to make a script to do this. Somebody get a GIF. That's funny. <laughs> do, do a pyramid style script. Who said, who said a GIF? What's Lemon's got to do with yeah, anything? Yeah, that was your earwax. That was pretty wild. <laughs> How did it feel? <laughs> Someone get a GIF. I'm impressed. Abby could, there you could go. have my weight. I feel you tickling <laughs> my inner ear. <laughs> Hey, we haven't been able to do that in a while, pileups. That's because most people oh, wow. put more than one spawn point in. Wow. <laughs> oh. This is true. Oh, Let's get some like Sentai poses too. Here I arrive at a wonderful place. 
And I hear Solus's voice. Oh, uh, God. Is it uh, wait, and I'm whispering. Wait, wait, I'm whispering. Why are you whispering? Pile up. Because yeah. Rex yells at me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Rex, I, I think there's, there's everyone. something important that we need oh, to okay. acknowledge. Ryan <laughs> Schultz I gotta, I gotta is the go foundation of, uh, of the pile in Sansar. Sorry, uh, Galen, come here. Uh, what did you say, Ryan Schultz? Uh, what? It's the foundation. Is the foundation of uh, the the stack of people. Oh, he's right it's there. Is <laughs> that him? <laughs> yeah, he's at the it bottom. Is he really is the foundation. You know, oh, it's a good way. thing. Good thing that Hover Derby is not on, uh, or Hover Derby, in other words, the game that may take VR mainstream, because Ryan might just run away, screaming about something, and everybody will plunge to their death. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ryan! <laughs> Ryan, don't move! <laughs> I'm as tall as no, no, this no, is cool. no, 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 no. Nobody move! <laughs> She's a man! She's really a man! How did Ebbe come up there? Who said I'm a man? <laughs> I mean, I mean, <laughs> we can see you. God, I just want to look at art and I hear Solas' voice. <laughs> bro, <laughs> so Solas, Solas is just not stop. He says, do you need to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, okay, okay nice that's, sir. that's not cool. Yeah, on Naya's, uh, okay, where's you got a strawberry? Right there. <laughs> strawberry? Naya was playing yeah, right here. Playing okay. so okay. This is always Ooh, walking on it. She's, she's, she's just she's disappeared. Oh, there you are. Okay. You are. You're such a surprise. He's just yapping, yapping, here yapping too loud. <laughs> so, Strawberry and I have Plan B. Now, if Plan B doesn't work, we're gonna go to Plan C, which is sort of a variation of Plan B. I don't Meaning that when plan people C. follow us, <laughs> our plan C is just when people follow us to plan B, then we're going to go to plan C, which is to go somewhere else. <laughs> okay. So like, and now listen, Strawberry, can mm -hmm. you derive from what plan C is what plan D would be? Um, we kick everybody out. <laughs> <laughs> no, plan D is when everybody follows us to plan C, we're going to go somewhere else. <laughs> this is cool. <laughs> so this place this is... is a museum by... Uh, Livio Corabase? It's a work in Livio progress. Corab Livio Corobase. He's Corobase. also known in Second Life. And, um, oh, you know, th this... Or I don't Corobase hear any audio. And... No, me neither. And, and what's wonderful here is, I, I want to say this, um, this is immersive art. You have a There's big space and you, dis you display sculptures in Livio's um, example here. So, this is, I don't know if he would classify this as a museum, but I put it in the list of museums because what I wanted to showcase that even though, you know, the criticism or some of the critique that you hear that this, these places are static, again, the point here is there's nothing wrong with it being static. We can make it feel alive. We can create stories around it. You know, we can use our imagination just like the original artists did so we fill it with with stories okay i know strawberry that might be a little bit too intellectual for your uh, oh. audience but... <laughs> <laughs> um actually um i wanted to say somebody just said that they can hear music how come i can't yeah i, can I hear can't it. hear it I, mean, I cannot hear i hear yeah, music it's, I do, it's very faint i don't yeah, hear anything kind of kind of i yeah my, the, my uh, settings are high like are they high okay. Like, is it is it the experience audio or the UI music? Experience audio. Right? I think it's experience, I, it's experience audio. audio. Yeah, yeah, I put it on 100. Music high, is but it's there. Oh, wait, now I hear it. If oh. I put it on 100, I can hear it. Okay. I'm going to put it up to... Sounds like maybe vast? It's some, supposed, some sort of radio station. To do this show. Can we climb up these guitar things? What is that? Oops, where did I go? Oh, here we go. I don't think they're sure. Strawberry, this is uh, I do think that might be an interesting characteristic. Yeah, I couldn't get on it. Uh, Sorry, Drax, what so were you saying? We... Oh, no, I just tell my audience that they understand that I'm actually not... I'm just playing a jerk on YouTube because somebody told me that provocative triggering is the way to go to get an audience uh, because somebody told me that I've been rude. Uh, <laughs> No, but this is awesome. Isn't this great? I mean, this is a, a, a kind of what I wanted to uh, show uh, this week. Is this a big piano? Yeah, this is a gigantic piano. Wow. Let's hop up there. We can go up there? 
How do we go up there? I can't go up there. No, there's no way to get up there. They're begging for it, but no. Intentionally prevented the user from being able to traverse something in order to force them to view it from a distance. <laughs> hey, Abby, what's, what's causing our shadows to do this weird thing? Hey, bro, you want a really nice bla black hat? It's like it's like shimmering. <laughs> a, a really nice, like your skin. I've been to that. Is that a lighting effect? <laughs> like whatever, do that for you. Yeah, no. I, I am black inside, bro. My oh, soul okay. is black. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's... <laughs> you think the ground is impacting cool. it, my dude? Yeah. yeah. I'm guessing because I don't think we do anything different as far as shadows go. I suspect it's something to do with lighting. Yeah, it's like an umbra effect of multiple lights. No, it was the reverse, right? For money first, then I had to say money. Oh. Can I slowly take off my ID for money? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna walk around a little bit, show you guys a little bit of the place. Yeah, Ryan, you were logged in and we were all piling on top of you. <laughs> it was funny. There's no way to climb on top of this piano, huh? Because I was trying to go on these little steps here, but I kind of just sink like a phantom or something. Oh, uh, and I think I've lost track. Thank you. Thank you, monster. What is this thing? <laughs> so many people today. It's great to have such a big, big crowd. Is this phantom as well? Everything here is phantom, I think. You can just like walk right through it, yeah. Wow. This is pretty cool. And I hear the music here a little bit louder, so I guess they have the music in this area. Let's see if we can find Drax again. Oh, I put um, Thundercats um, intro as my first thing on my trailer list. I like Thundercats when I was out. Yeah, I'm looking for some resolution on the spotlight that's causing that. Hi, Amr. Hello. Hello, Maya. Hey, Daisy. Hi, Maya. Hey. Hi. Hey. Yes, I'm glad you can make it today. So, yeah, Maya, it says add Maya twice. So, you're yeah, my presence, and then it says I can add you again. I know, I'm sorry. Which is very exciting. Well, I think you've been voice. Awesome, thank you. Well, I did, but it was a disaster. <laughs> I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're talking. Are you in your Vive or your Oculus? In the Vive. <laughs> I have to spend more time in the Rift. I just can't. I have to guys. Yeah. She's doing major research on. Oh, man. Oh! You should send me the extra one. <laughs> hey! I'm trying to... Well, well, I'm trying to see Drax. Yep. Maybe he's over here somewhere. Let me see. Oh, there he is. That's <laughs> right. And then, right. and then you might have to do something inside there to teleport down to here or something, you know? Yeah. You have to press the right buttons or something. Yeah, there's a button in the spaceship, let's say, and then you press those buttons, and then you arrive at the, at the, yeah. the ground the, station. The, the, the go-to-planet button. Damn. Yeah, Probably we... the, Ebbe was just saying because, you know, this it would mm -hmm. be already possible to put a spawn point inside a spaceship, let's say. So when you arrive here, you see this vast planet with this lost civilization artifacts and and then you could press a button and then you could be on on the ground that would be and cool. so you create sort of a, a story around it i like the scale of this because you don't realize how large these things in and how far apart they are that like i started exactly. teleporting to this face here and i was like wow i have to like keep going and it feels like <laughs> i thought it would be yeah. closer than it was it's kind of like Distance and kind of it messes with the sense of distance. Totally, totally. And only because because we have so much space here. We have this huge amount of space. <laughs> Look how far he is. He just teleported. Where did he go? He went really far somewhere. He's like, oh, now he's coming back slowly. Here, here. 
You guys teleport so quickly. It takes me forever. Look how far they are. Wow. It didn't look like that when we were looking at it normally. This is so cool. If you go all you the way so back, far, you can, yeah. yeah, you can still see the the group there huddled together yeah. uh, like little ants. <laughs> and uh, I, I just finished this sci-fi novel that I tell everyone about, and I'm going to start reading it and since live streaming. But I've just finished it today, the third part of the trilogy from Xi Jing Liu, a Chinese author. And there's a lot of play with scale, and there's a lot of scenes that are very evocative that how he describes it, like with lost civilizations. That and and so this is really like having just finished this book, and I'm looking at this and you're like, wow, this is it really feels you know, like that. Is, yeah. Yeah. Totally. I love the now floating course, spaceships like, too. Yeah. Very cool. So should we head on over to the next place because we are already almost at three at uh, twelve. Oh God, you Americans! You you really need to learn how to. Uh, hey, we have like of... four other places to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have to. I mean, I know it's ambitious. Maybe we don't have to go to them all. Okay, let's see. Which one should we go? The next um, is the urban art experience. Well, we've been there before. Should we try the Moya Museum next? Yeah, that's a good idea. the The Urban Art Museum is amazing, and and again, we may have been there before, but we have, we, yeah. we are uh, the crowd is increasing, and you know, it's a lot yeah. of influx of new people. So I don't see any harm in yeah. We should definitely go there. Again. Yeah, but let's do the Moya Museum first because we haven't been Moya, there at all. Yeah. So we'll go there, and yeah. then we can head to the next ones. Okay, let's hop back here. I'm gonna head back. I feel like the people in VR can teleport faster than the people in desktop mode. It just takes me like so much longer to, to teleport. Event. After that, yeah. it's opening. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, uh, that may not make sense. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna, you guys, we're gonna move to the next location. Yeah, and it's in the chat. I'm gonna share it. If you're it, not yeah. paying attention, you're gonna fail class. <laughs> and you have to repeat it. <laughs> I'll, we'll share the link and then we'll go. Everybody will follow. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm a few minutes, I think. Who's that? Bit? Okay, go to the next location and then you can leave. Maya. Yep. Hello. Hey, Lepper. hey, hey. No, Maya, Lepper, you look fantastic. Leave. Lepper, you're with us for the end of time. Why? <laughs> <laughs> when, when we. Okay, how should I never we get... Sorry. <laughs> okay, aren't you going to the next experience? Uh, Lepper, you gotta go. I think I have to go. Yeah. But Aww. yeah, it would be nice. But, um, but, but, but before you go, I really want to sing happy birthday for him for tomorrow. I don't know if I'll see him. Wait, but yeah, we should. Oh, yeah. it's his birthday. Let's do this. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday! Okay. He's like, I'm out of here. Okay, now we know what the killer app of VR is not. Uh, not yet, not yet anyway, which is simu simultaneously wishing somebody happy birthday. Hey Alfie, at least you know who to bar from your competition now. <laughs> I love her. Bye. Bye. Yeah. We'll see you. See you later, man. Have a great birthday, Have birthday. a great birthday. Thank you. You get the birthday present, you get some sprue. I got a whole case. Okay guys, I shared the link in the chat again. We're heading on over to the Moya Museum. Drax, you're coming, right? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, let's go and over. Here we go. Okay, guys, we're heading on over to the Moya Museum. I'm sharing the link in chat as well. And of course, I'm going to have all these in the description of the video as well. I know, Sansar does need auto-tuning for singing. <laughs> this is why I didn't sing too much, because I was like, my live streamer is going to be like, what are you doing, Barry? <laughs> but hey, it's fun. Okay, here we go. Looks like we're gonna pile up on each other again. 
Let me move out of the way. There we go. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. Oh, this place is a little laggy. I guess that was another stuck spawn point. Oh, yeah, I remember this guy from Second Lot. I feel a little bit of lag here. It's okay. really quiet. We go? <laughs> that may be from people arriving. Every time someone oh. arrives, there's a, uh, a hit. Okay. Wow. Wow. And it's wonderfully quiet. Ugh, the quiet. So let's walk around here and soak in the scenery like in a, a real museum where oh, there's wow. no incessant just talking about like, like you know, connecting and just let it. I just want to see what this building thing is and then I'm going to head inside the museum. Why is that? Oops. Oh, can't go any further, I think. Oh, wait, I can. There we go. Oh, wow, look at the sky. So it's just a building. I don't think there's anything on the other side of the building. Let me see. Can I land here? Let me F4 and move the camera and see if there's anything on the other side. No, it's just blank. So this is kind of cool. <laughs> I'm going to head back over to the museum there. but it's all about them being goofy with each other. You know, they don't really care about the scenery all that much, I've noticed. You know, they just care about the game they're playing. I replaced it in my basement with your racing game, which I just bought. Why do you have a couple of I'm going to go over here. To, I'm gonna go yeah, I don't have that here. much space oh, in my yeah. basement. It's very small. And my mom would... You know how to teleport, out. Chris? Oh, okay. Oops. I'm sorry that the bathroom yeah. with my mom... Is this is... Oh, yeah, I totally remember this guy's work. Yeah, he's, he's awesome. Oh wow. I wonder if this is the original artist. Oh. You guys know they messed up one alphabet, right? One alphabet? How would I know that? M O Y A M A Y. Oh. I'm just joking. Oh, oh I see. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally, after I saw all this creativity, I'm like, yes, totally mine. <laughs> mm -hmm. I will take ownership of this place right. in a heartbeat. <laughs> yeah, he does beautiful work. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay. So, Maya, do you enjoy Portland? Portland? Yes, aren't you from, don't you spend time in Portland? No, I misheard. Really? No. Mm -hmm. at the, I'm, I'm at the lab in San Francisco. Oh, okay. The main headquarters. Yes. Oh my god, your body seat morphs, I just noticed. There's like a slight rotation on your texture? Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. I assume that's a shader of some sort, right? There's... Yeah, they, I mean, if they had the real shader, oh my god, the things they would do with this kind of an outfit would be awesome. Yeah, so it's got rainbow on it. Is that because of this world reflecting on you, or do uh, you actually have rainbow in it? No, it is reflection. So if yeah, I were, so cool. if you had seen me at minimalism, which I mm. did go to, was what like fabulous. This outfit was like radiating with rainbows. Mm. I like the boots too. Are those from the store? Yes, they're all it... purchased except uh, for the hair. Hair is free. Mm -hmm. I won't be wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> That's I'm wearing Alfie's hair. But I see, that's the other thing. Because I like a cool dude, too. Whoa. <laughs> that is now cool. Now we can go inside the museum. Look at that. That baby looks like he's been too long in the microwave. Uh, I guess I'll go in from this way. Okay. So I think this is all the original work of, uh, of the artist. Who is the creator of this. Experience, I'm assuming. Amazing stuff.
This this looks like you can walk into it. Oh right, you can. <laughs> I was painting for a second. Okay. Where's Drax? Oh wow. Mm, spooky. I love the lighting here. Yeah. Interesting. That's the exit there. So I don't see Drax anywhere. Hmm. He's probably chatting it up some other ways. Hi. Is this the first time you've joined us with the Animal Stopping Crew? I was talking with uh, Jin about. Are you going to come back or am I too annoying? I watch your show all the time, but I never come on trigger. Okay. Uh, you passed the course. test, Maya. You passed the test. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, mean, I, I was just saying, Strawberry, this to me again is so, I say this so often, but it's so rewarding to go to a place like this because it, it's invigorating the, 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 the imagination that is on display, you know, that people just, they just do stuff. And I think it's rewarding. I mean... So I had a question about this place. Sorry, sorry, Maya's uh, uh, Maya is saying something. Her, her oh, mic is a little low. Go ahead. Yeah, the all. Go ahead. Yeah, I did something in 3D paint, and it's it's awesome. It's super simple, and it. There's one. Uh, kind of right, right. right. Yeah. Yep. What is it called? Uh, God damn it, I can't think of it now. It's also a repository of also. Oh, let, let me ask. Hey guys, what? Google Poly? There you go, exactly. Uh, let's go inside here. Let's go inside, Strawberry. Let's go away. Frozen. Drax. Drax, I yes. had a question. This place, all this artwork on the walls and so forth, is this from the original artist that created the experience, Patrick Moyle? <sighs> That's a good question. Because it's, it's gorgeous. Well, and yeah. did you see the other little, uh, there's like another little place out of, outside of the museum and it's got murals all over it. Um, so I'm just wondering if it's the same artist. You know what I thought was hilarious? I thought this I thing over here was that. a hanging picture, but it's actually just outside. <laughs> I oh, was like, yes. doesn't it look like oh a picture? God, yes. <laughs> yeah, totally. If I was like, that's on, pretty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this landscape. Wonderful yeah. composition. It's almost like the, like, uh, but I was like, this is so different from the rest of the work. <laughs> <laughs> this tree really looks like those trees in uh, in Monterey and Big Sur uh, along the coast. Yeah. The lonely pines. Wow. So you don't know um, Patrick Moya and ah. if he created these things? Like no, I don't know. Let me. Them. Is okay. is that in the description? His in name? the description it says serious game, and then I guess it's French. That's that's <laughs> something in French, and then Patrick Moya. I don't know. You know, uh, that name is so familiar from Second Life, and yeah. so... Hmm, maybe I should so look I him up in Second Life. I need to look this up. Hmm. Yeah, we need to look this up and, and provide um, in the YouTube description. You know, because I, I remember that from... Uh, let's type this in real quick here. Oh, yeah, Studio Moya. Here it is. Oh, is there this a picture go. of him up here on the wall? You see this right above us? Drax? One second, one second. Uh, where are you? I'm right here in front of the picture. Look above, above my head. Wait, I'm not in. Can't find you. I hear you, but. Do you think that's him? Oh. Yes. It's probably him, right? Here, Patrick Moya is a French contemporary artist keen on expressing himself through the diffusion and transformation of his name and image. Many examples of his colorful work can be found at his Second Life galleries, including photography, oh. painting, and sculpture. Oh, wow, there's an wow. upstairs. I didn't know there was an upstairs. How do you get upstairs? 
Okay, see, this is how paintings. incredibly ignorant we are. <laughs> and I say we, and what I mean is me. <laughs> because I picked this uh, from, I wanted to do an experiment and I picked it from the Atlas and to see what happens if somebody were in, interested in museums. And I picked this and I had no idea. And here he has a, a Wikipedia article. Patrick Moya is a southern French artist living oh. in Nice. He is part of the artistic movement Ecole de Nice. Moya has been in the forefront since the 1970s. Oh, wow. He is really well known, and there is a lot of uh, and he chose to create on... a virtual environment in Sansar and Second Life to showcase his art. Wow! Well, he's been in Second Life for a long time. Mm. Interesting. We need to get him in here. Here yeah. he is. At... Is the There's... is the art made by an uh, a resident? Yeah, I think so. Hey, uh... Ebbe, we just found information. Yeah. This is Patrick Moya, and he has a, a gallery page. in Second Life. He's, he has a Wikipedia page. He's very well known. In, uh, he's from France, and he's part of the Ecole de Nice, a movement that originated in Nice in the 70s. And here's a, a whole bunch of stuff on the on the web about him. He's very well known. And yeah, and, and so, oh, is that the name right there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And Wolfie just found his Twitter. He shared it in the chat. We should Wolfie tweet at him. Man. <laughs> Wolfie, yeah, we, we, we're going to have him as a guest next time. This is just crazy. Yeah. I'm going upstairs. Hey. Boom. That's... <laughs> I was wondering how to get up there. <laughs> There's a stairway. There is I'm a telling stairway. you, Strawberry, it was so interesting because, you know, I, 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 mm. I admit, I mean, there is so much information floating around, and I should have probably people are going to scold me for like, oh, you didn't know that Moya was in, uh, in Second Life. That's but okay. when I... When I looked at this, the name sounded so familiar, I couldn't place it. And here we are. Wow. Wow, what a view. Oh, let me Whoa. Oh, wow. Look at the sky. Yeah. Amazing. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> And then, I think to me, this is another example. I mean, I know there is a million different use cases for virtual worlds, but I do think that Sansa has already created a wonderful, uh, positive image for serious artists to they, they, they choose this platform over others uh, to express themselves. And whatever the reason may be, uh, that's just a fact. Well, there's not many platforms that allow you to just work within the domain of content and yeah. not not getting like completely wrapped up in technology. And so oh, I, I agree. That's definitely the biggest thing is that it's so easy to use. But the other two platforms, which shall not be named, uh, they have been trying to attract. There's only two others. There's only two. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, the, the, the serious <laughs> contenders. You know, uh, <laughs> the, the 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 series. You know, there's only four big metal bands from the '80s. I mean, you know, there's Slayer, Metallica, Anthrax, and uh, Hey Bluebell. Negative. But uh, anyway, I'm getting off a uh, getting off point here. The so no, no you, Van Halen or. Judas well, Priest or oh, Abbott. Or... Okay. Well, wait. I'm talking specifically um, early '80s. Of course, Van Halen was there before. Number one, Judas Priest is very important, but Judas Priest technically is part of the new wave of British heavy metal. So it's a different. Um, <laughs> I'm a heavy metal sociologist, Abbott. You, you, you. I don't care for heavy metal much at all. So. Okay, I'll then let going. me tell you for the next two hours. <laughs> Van Halen. Okay, no, but the, but I like like I know I like I like more. Uh, Katie Rogers. I don't know. <laughs> What's wrong with Katie Rogers? I don't know. Back then, I'm trying to think of Deep Purple. Maybe I don't know. Ah, yeah, uh, Deep Purple is awesome. Yeah, yeah. No, I I hear you. A little uh, more, a little more musical, a little less screaming. <sighs> Ebbe is sounding like my mom now. <laughs> why do you why do you listen to Metallica? All they do is scream. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Look at this. So Patrick Moya sold us uh, we found out that Patrick Moya is a is a well known French artist. And of course, Solas does not uh, listen to me. She just keeps babbling on and on. Okay. Drax, Solas, Solas <laughs> yes. is right. We should all stand in front of this Moya thing, and or some of us can sit. And some tweet of us it can to him. Stand and then take a oh, picture. Oh yeah! I'll take the. I'll, okay. I'll sit. 
And you guys stand behind me. Whoever can sit, sit. I'll take well, at last, Solas has, ses has said something of <laughs> significance. Strawberry, thank you. I am now not following Drax and following you. Yay! <laughs> what? Oh my god! <laughs> you don't know teens? Oh no! <laughs> oh, this is this is looking great, guys. Okay, okay so Strawberry, me, you're you're the in. pro photographer. Get Abby in here. He needs that. to be in here. Abby, come on, come on, come on. Come no, on. you are. Uh -oh. oh wait, I'm standing right in front of what? Oh, who is that blue bell? Sorry, I'm gonna go. taking a photo. I don't want to yes. photo bomb you. Yeah, why not? <laughs> come on, Daisy. That's the point. We're all getting in to send it to the. Yeah, audience. whoever can sit, can we're gonna, you sit? We're gonna <laughs> send it to the artist Patrick yeah. Moya that we yeah. visited his place. Yeah, he's on Twitter. We'll tweet it to him. Yeah. Okay, Have you ever seen his uh, four Sims in us all? It's so oh, weird no, when you don't see the cameraman. You're just oh, going like, what am I? He's Where? got a ton of stuff. <laughs> <in his eye. laughs> cameraman sitting on the floor. <laughs> He's got he's got Wave stuff in his SL too. I'm gonna have to check this out. Yeah, no, he's got four, SL... four Sims. Oh, wow. His SL place is big. Okay. Like, like that yeah. cartoony poodle down there. He's got like a whole scene that's done in cartooniness like oh, that. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna take even the place. terrain, even the terrain is done like Can that. Can somebody get the children out there to come for the photo shoot? Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Drax. Still got quite a few people here. If the people outside are not coming right now, I'm going to tell you the story when Abby I just photo my music picture. at the Santa Cruz Waldorf <laughs> School in Abby, 2002. Abby, I Abby know you're the CEO of Linden Labs, but let me explain this to you. It's not a video. It's a photo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. And Sorry. Abby, also, let us explain <laughs> that it's not a VHS tape. <laughs> He's so going to kill me. Oh, my God. I can't believe I said that. You're going to be banned. <laughs> I know, IP banned. I'm going to wake up and I'll, all my avatars will be deleted. <laughs> what, do you mean you have more than one? No. Ooh, <laughs> okay, I got a couple no, of good pictures. I was talking Second Life and... Second all right. Life. Okay, thanks, guys, for posing. Thank you, Strawberry. Some no people problem. should be on their way. Oh, it's too late now. We don't need them anymore. Send them back. Oh. What's this YouTube thing? What's this YouTube thing over here? Is this like his video? That he's got streaming? Maya. Yeah, compilation Moya. There you go. Wait a second. He's got a bunch of people that's his, in this that's video art. looking at his art in a virtual world. What'd you do to your hair, Maya? It's the... Oh, is, it, is it displayed it, from SL? I don't know if it's oh, SL yeah. or Sansar, but he's got a bunch of people probably, watching. No, this it's looks like SL. SL. Yeah, it's this probably SL. SL. There you go. So he's showing a bunch of people this virtual... Keep in mind, we're seeing... I think we're seeing the uh, video awesome. at different times, maybe. Oh, maybe, yeah. No, no, that's exactly what's happening here. That's awesome. Yeah. Fantastic. It's a, it's, uh, there's some uh, SL avatars dancing. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to go check out his place in SL. Yeah, so we're seeing it at different times. So you guys should let me know because next week I think we're sh shipping a fix that will make the video quality, the frame rate of the video, go way up. Oh, sweet. Ooh, very exciting. Actually, oh, I feel hmm? because we sometimes it feels laggy and stuttery and just not a super high quality. And I saw 1080p at 60 frames just cranking. That's I don't know awesome. what we'll set it to, but it's was a simple fix. <laughs> we just didn't realize. And I and I already see actually that the lip sync is better than last time, or maybe I, it's it's still broken. It. And that's supposed to. I talked to Riga who fixed it, but he hasn't shipped yet. It'll ship hopefully Monday. The fix, oh, okay. and he said it will actually. He said it was going to be better than ever. So we'll see. It wasn't just fixing because it, with our twenty, with the last release, major release, it, it definitely got worse. And yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I he said the problem had already. He said the problem had been there for a while, but it was just something else in this last release exposed it even worse. And uh, when yeah. he fixed it, he said he didn't just fix it to go back to where it was, but to make it even better. So I'm curious to see how it look. Maybe that goes up uh, roughly Mon Monday, Tuesday. So I expect both of those things. Great. I mean, it's a big asset. That's one of the the big things. We we um, added to your uh, the real life interview that we did. I shot uh, the virtual version with Tom and Donna in um, Sansa and was like, oh no! The no I know we we broke working. it just at the wrong time. Yeah, exactly. Just because just to mess with us, I understand. 
Um, okay, let's, so let's, let's, go to the, so. let's go to one more place. Uh, we can do the urban art experience or VR cult. Which one? Ah, the, the urban art. Huge. It's vast. I yeah. wonder. We probably won't have time for the whole thing, I think. Well, yeah. um, well, let's let's go there though, because I think it works in the context um, that it dis displays a lot of stuff from other people, uh, from different people, and it's it's kind of um, you can explore it, and there's a lot lot of hidden things. So we will probably yeah. get um, split apart, which is cool. So okay. <laughs> Which is cool in the sense that I don't have to listen to Solas and Naya is giggling over here. Why are you bullying her? I know. Have you noticed her? <laughs> totally yeah. bullying Solas. I, tur I turned into a bully since, the, <laughs> since uh, You know what, Strawberry? It starts in Slack when uh, I wake up. Oh, okay. I, uh, he I says, don't show up at Atlas Hop where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we're gonna head on over to the urban art experience. Actually, two nice. weeks ago, I drove sure all the know. way to Solas to tell her in person because she didn't check her Slack messages. Yes, yeah, she I said. Drove she said. Miles into the California countryside, like a lot of cows, and you know. Yeah, and he said, if you don't start checking your Slack, Guido is making the next visit. <laughs> okay, I'm heading on over. Come on, guys. Okay. Okay, we are heading over to the Urban Art Experience right now. I'm going to share the link in the chat, and again, it's also in the description of the video. And uh, I, I know we had like six things in the description of the video, but I don't think we're going to be able to see all of them. Um, be just because there's just running out of time. So you guys can visit on your own. I'll leave the links in the description if you want to go visit. The tree is looking at me. <coughs> Yeah, it seems to have my eyes. <laughs> yeah, that's right, it does. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. see you here sometime. So Jub Jub is watching the stream. And Wurfy always, uh, a big heads up to Wurfy again, who discovered the, the Wait, press Jub -Jub item. Jub Jub is the watching German your press. stream? Yes, of course. Why that's would you watch Jub -Jub. yours? That's it. I'm really mad at you. I hope you're listening to this, Jub Jub. Okay. Listen, Jub Jub, don't watch her stream. <laughs> oh, someone's polluted. Uh oh. Uh, oh, you're right. This is Doom. Oh, wow. Look Shopping at this cart, guy. Drank too much Drax brew. Check it out. Drax, were you here partying last night again? Oh, my God. This is a metaphor for for our world. <laughs> sure got on his That's face. true, especially with that Facebook like. It's like Facebook is like is being used to fish things. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Is it... Oh. Yes. Facebook is Facebook is way more um, destructive like than Drax brew. Can somebody please take a picture of me? How I? It's how too I dark here. The world. The lighting is really bad. Oh, was sunny here, wasn't it, the last time we were here? What's that, Naya? We come here like <laughs> once every month or so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but for Atlas Hopping, we've only been uh, been once. I, I think this I is... I think um, three times. That's because the hot tub is still yeah. out. This is wonderful, though. I, I've Wait, always liked this place. They have a hot tub here? Yeah, there's a hot tub upstairs in the sky. <gasps> Oh, cool, yeah. Up in the sky, we'll wait, 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 Naya, slow down. Can we go inside this thing? What's in here? Oh, these fire fireflies. Whoa. No, no. Chris, you're back. This is frightening. What is this? It's very dark in here. You guys going to have to check out the cave system. Whoa. I don't know where I am. Oh, this is crazy, Ebe. I mean, this is so vast. Like, first time we were here, I was like, yeah, okay. So what's the big deal? And we're like, what? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can enter down here. The art is really amazing, too. I always wonder if the art shown here is... Um, Uh-oh, where am I? Where am I? I think I lost everybody. Tourist information. I can hear people, but I don't see anybody. Do you guys know where they went? 
Have you guys been to this place? I've been here once before, but I can't figure out how... Oh, I can't go in here? Can I teleport? Yeah, I can. If you're watching, we're visiting your... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now this isn't good. I'm under... This is a Torley copter. <laughs> Visible. This is sad. I wish I had a big spoon so I could stir it up a bit. <laughs> Where are they all? <laughs> no. coming. Don't look. Don't look. I feel like I'm getting closer. Oh, no, it's strawberry. Strawberry. Oh, oh yay, strawberry. Tub. Where are you guys? But it's more like soup pot. Where are you guys? I don't see you. Up here. Up on top. Here. Oh, there you Okay. Come drown with Strawberry us. joins the cool people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she didn't oh stairs, silly stairs. Oh, strawberry. I like taking the <laughs> stairs. I didn't even know there were stairs. Where's Jalen? Oh, he's inside the <laughs> He's, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. kind of worries. Oh, I see his hair. <laughs> Which uh, is kind of worrisome that he's... I don't know You're what he's looking at. Maya, <laughs> you look awesome. <laughs> so this is like a Ooh, actually, we might be able to sit right here because oh. there's a... Oh, right. This is funny. This is funny oh. how the water has uh, probably some Damn. copyright uh, stuff on it. <laughs> Darn Sola, she's. I should wear skirts. I was going to wear See, skirts. See, that's the today. benefit of sitting in the water. And then Drax told me where we're going to be sitting, so I was like, I better put on some pants. <laughs> I like my skirt. In fact, mm -hmm. Strawberry, if you want one of there these skirts, um, I'll put them to zero for you and, and ping you. Oh, that would be awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody knows I have no money in yeah. so. <laughs> Why am I, like, all the way inside? Um, You have to, like, move <laughs> your avatar to your, like, yeah, there's a ramp, and to your, like, situated. Um, mm -hmm. Come to where I am. Okay. Oh, it's a, it's an invisible collision mesh, but yeah, oh. there's a little ramp here. Hey, Abby, oh, join yeah. the cool people. Oh, hot tub. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is what sensor has needed. Yeah, we just need bubbles. And uh, oh, lower works. viscosity Whoa, water. Whoa, someone just drowned. That was me. I was I trying to sing. It's not working. Get up on the side. See if you can get up on the side and then step forward. See if I that works. Guess, yeah, well, you need a lot more practice with hot tubs, Strawberry. Are you guys I know. <laughs> yeah, we're you sitting. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, now I should work, hopefully. Let's see. Yeah. You might have to step another. There you go. Oh, almost there. You back. go. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> At least I'm not drowning. Yes. Oh wow! He's <laughs> 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 so funny. He's <laughs> <laughs> the entertainment. So, Epi, you use HTC or Oculus? No, Oculus. Oculus. Okay. I just so much prefer the. Uh... I prefer Oculus. Yeah. The controllers just make more sense, and the headset is easier to take on and off. So. I agree. The Vive is pretty heavy. I've we noticed. just got some of the Pro. Uh, HTC, the Vive Pros, though, at the office. Oh yeah. With the better resolution, yeah. We'll How just, the screens? I don't like the screen door effect on uh, on the Vive right now. Yeah, the Pro. Well, it's just Oculus and Vive are similar, but the Pro definitely has better resolution. Nice. But Oculus also does a better job of actually dealing with frame rate drops. Um, they have this special technology that if if the application can't keep up with 90 frames, they can fill in frames and make it smooth. Oh, interpolate. Nice. And, yeah. See, so you would so, recommend so Oculus? You can actually, yeah, so you can actually run Oculus at 45, and they will, they will fill in every other frame so you run 90. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, nice. it has more tolerance, whereas with Vive, if you drop frames... Yeah, as a user, you will notice more. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Last did, week did that you... happened, and I was on my knees. It was weird. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I, Oculus has 400 plus open head count. Wow. So, you know, you mean? Vive, good luck competing, you know. <laughs> it's just... Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so did, you, uh, did you also pick up the... Um... Uh, the, the the wireless package for it? No, it? no. I got to talk to Intel. We actually have a good relationship with Intel because Intel is actually doing that piece. 
So oh, okay. I have to, I have to ask gig. them. I, I haven't, but I haven't heard when it's going to be on the market. I'm very play- intrigued. Sorry, go on. I played with it at the uh, when CS. we demoed yeah, at CS when we demoed uh, Sansar there with the Pro and the wireless. Nice. We actually had a lot of people that came up and put it on, and all they did was. You know, shake their head all over the place to see if it worked well. It's like, yeah, it works. <laughs> Have you seen the um, some of the the promo videos and stuff for the knuckle uh, controller that is coming out for the Vive? Yeah, that's. Yeah, I think that's being worked on by Valve. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I, I mean, we don't know when it's uh, going to show up. They've said sometime this year, but yeah, it'll be cool to get to. I mean, we don't even have hands yet, but once we do, which will be not too distant future, proper yeah. hands, and so that you can then Touch do at fingers. least with Oculus, you can do the gestures, you know, point and fist mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Um, and then with Knuckles, hopefully, you start getting fingers. Right, for you those know. of you who so then you seen... then you can then you can start being rude to each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, who would ever be rude to someone? Uh, uh, the whole uh, controller uh, looks in some ways similar to the standard Vive controller, but it has capacitive sensors uh, in the grip where your fingers are, so it'll detect if your uh, if your fingers are, are relatively close to roughly speaking how close they are to the controller. So it's possible to articulate the hands. Yeah. Yeah, the, so far the best fingers I've seen are, are uh, uh, leap motion, but that's that's a whole other system. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I have trouble imagining that people really will adopt gloves or anything bulky that they have to put on. Yeah, I hope I hope leap motion can completely figure it out. We'll see. Me too. I, I'm convinced that in the long run, what's what's probably going to get uh, to get us to fuller IK is going to be video cameras. Um, things people don't have to wear. I don't know exactly how, like maybe attaching, maybe using the video cameras on handset, uh, the headsets, for example, or using video cameras. Well, I mean, the, the Microsoft system and the upcoming, you know, it's it's inside out tracking. So it is right. the camera that decides what moves you make. And then that can also then detect how your hands move. Except if you put your hands behind you, right. the camera can't see them. So they're kind of a, a slightly reduced field of, 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 of yeah. sort of tracking field, if you will. But, but still, even if it could uh, do a half-decent uh, uh, version of maybe, I don't know, 30% of the field of view, uh, that would be pretty cool if we could follow your Or just smaller well. tracking devices, like a ring on each finger, yeah. ankle It'll. bracelet, wrist I think bracelet. Some of this, Everything like, will just be, it's just like mobile phones, right? It just, yeah. it just gets smaller and faster and cheaper. cheaper yeah. So we're still in the, you know, I, I compare where we're it's at now with now. where mobile phones were like in the early Bay 90s Bay. or something. <laughs> yeah. One day, one day I will drive the DeLorean like in the movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. One day that we'll be getting just the devices implanted like they do in animals, you know, I, tracking I devices. Even over there. Oh my God, Drax! Oh, Drax! <laughs> See, you guys need to defend me. Beat them up. <laughs> oh, you're in the hot tub, hot tub yeah. time machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Hey, Drax, will you bring me a margarita? <laughs> uh, okay. Too, please. <laughs> Make them work. Yeah, exactly. Oh wow, this is so cool. <laughs> ah, you see the thing. We're yeah. stuck. <laughs> mm, you sit Has thing. anyone? Can, yeah, can you sitting? Does IK work when you sit? Uh, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me see if I can demonstrate. You just have to not move. Yeah, then you, you pop out. But I was just curious if you could like if you could swim there. I saw ravioli do that. So okay, let me see. You mean you're sitting and then you go back and oh wow, is it working? Yeah, oh, yeah. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'll try. Oh, it. I won't do that now. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! I'm gonna drop my drink again. <laughs> <laughs> I did that the other day and ravioli. ruined a keyboard. <laughs> what for oh, ravioli? Oh, you mean in real life? Yeah, in Hover Derby, I, I was. Uh, um, <laughs> there we go. Oh, it's Hold a little on. deeper on that end, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drax drowned. Oh, don't tell him. Evie, don't tell him. 
Can you still hear me, though? No. Don't pull him out, don't pull him out. Yeah, there you go. Sona's voice underwater travels. And Daisy's just going, what's your problem? Yeah. <laughs> grab my hand, Drax. Grab my hand. Ah. <laughs> uh, Galen, you, uh, Galen, you made a, a, a big mistake. You said um, hover derby without adding the game that oh, will uh, make VR mainstream. <laughs> oh yes, yes. Very important. Uh, uh, the other day when I was at hover derby, which may well take uh, <laughs> VR mainstream at last. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. That happened Sunday at 11 a.m. <laughs> oh, it's on the mainstream? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Finally. Oh, actually. At last. Oh. All right. Forward slash toys. sit. <laughs> Why the hell am I always underwater? Because only Gail and I know how to do it. <laughs> and strawberry and um naya oh wow yeah there's there's so everybody except here. for me yeah there's a special a special it's a special place a special dress yeah i know <laughs> you sound so depressed I know. well you guys don't have to live with me i do you know when atlas hopping is over you guys can log off i can't Oh my God, I'm, I'm still sad. in my own head. Uh, I can't, I'm sorry. I, just I think we're uh, trying to figure out how many people we can fit in the, uh, the hot yeah, tub. Yeah, how many in the hot tub before it falls through the... Um... <laughs> to the floor below. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The pa the pa All right, I'm going to go have lunch with my wife. i see you guys later. Okay, have Enjoy. a good Bye. 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 Thanks for coming. Ciao. Uh, Priorities. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Big hi to her. We met Ebbett's wife once, so let's remember. We yeah. did? Nice. Wait, 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 wait. When did we meet her? She was in Santa? We met her. Wait, wait, no. No, yeah. she was in a thing called Real Life. Uh, it's with air pollution and all that good I've stuff. I've heard of it. Yes. Wait, 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 but where were we that we met her? You have to remind me. Oh, no, me. you weren't. Ah, no, 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 Solas, you weren't there. Yeah, thank that, you. That was the... Well, that was a very that was narrow the... interpretation of we. <laughs> but, uh, no, no, I, I remember now, Solas. That was the time where you were there and, you, and we told you that we're not going to do anything anymore just to kind of get rid of you, and then we went to that no, party. No, 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 that was... Or... No, that was the lunch the next day, but I didn't make it to lunch. Yeah, yeah. I didn't go to lunch. Was... Oh, bummer. That would have been fun. I would have loved to have made, made his wife. So, guys, I go back in the arena. I hope right. Uh, you Alfie, tell us, what, who, is playing, who is playing today? Uh, I, Ian Herod or something. Yes, it's cool. It's really cool. Can really good playing. I have really awesome singer coming all the time. So, in 30 minutes we're beginning. We have make everything... 30 minutes? Yes. At the arena, Ian Herod. Yes. Never and you need, you need to get Naftali Tarok. I'll email you about that. Naftali Tarok is a wonderful Second Life musician also. She plays uh, in a trio with uh, a jazz violin and stuff. Really, really awesome. Okay, Drax? Yeah, yes. Uh, it's yes, almost 12.30, so we should wrap it up. So we'll, on it. we'll wrap yeah. it up. We'll go back to uh, the basement hopping? to have a little post-game talk. Fourteen harvest. Okay. <laughs> and, we, and then we going to Alfie. Oh, Alfie has a show today. Yes. Um, what time? The name of the artist is Ian Herrick. At uh, at ten. Uh, at um, one. You know, I'm getting confused. At one. Okay. Correct. You know what's really confusing? Uh, mm -hmm. Well, we'll talk about this uh, in the basement. Which is the new time, the times that the events are posted, which uh, is very yeah. confusing. It, you, it guesses. I mean, it, oh, it, guesses it, it your... identifies your local time zone. Yeah. No, I mean it identifies it correctly, but you're putting it in like you know when you're thinking about second lifetime or just universal or you know Pacific time. 
Yeah. Uh, you put maybe it in they local can... time, you get it confirmed in right. Pacific time, and then you right. see in the events in local time again, and it's really... And wow. it exactly. Tells you maybe, they, maybe they should show it on... They should always show it in a parentheses in Pacific time. Yes. So yeah. everybody exactly. knows, and yeah. then your local time. Yeah, that would be good. Yep. That was also because it's like Galen, you were you were saying. I mean, it switches it back and forth. I mean, if if it, if it were just consistent. communicated exactly, I mean, it, it would be actually quite simple to say, hey, you know, put in your event and your local time, and it will the system will automatically uh, correct that for the, each. Uh, yeah, here's a know. discussion of it in chat that just came up today. I on the form here. Good. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, okay, we're heading uh, back. Everybody, okay, I'm gonna have to. Oh my god, like every, every one of the comments says negative one next to it. Oh my god, this is a heated debate. <laughs> Why zones. are people actually for it? Or, or I mean, what are people <laughs> for? I think Ricardus and uh, and, and Gendipal are, are doing battle by a negative Ooh. one in each other. <laughs> okay, let me grab the popcorn. <laughs> so let's trust me. There's better programming out there. <laughs> I'm going. I'm. I, actually, I need to get some work done. Fun show, you guys. This was fun. See you, Solas. Oh, Don't leave fun. us. Oh, oh. my Solas. Oh, oh, bye. Okay. bye. Drax, I'm my over. new best friend. Yes. Bye. bye. <laughs> what? We'll mute Drax. Well, <laughs> I've had it. I'm gonna get back into my basement. <laughs> okay, I'm coming like too. That. Thanks for coming, guys. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Thanks Bye. for the show again. Move. Have fun. I'm gonna move Bye -bye. in with Kindipple. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> guys, talking about time zones. Yeah, good times. Yeah, that's a bad. Okay, I'm heading on over to 114 Harvest to wrap up the show. Thanks so much for watching us today. Um, we're just going to probably just talk next week and what's coming up in this upcoming week. On Monday, Drax and I will be streaming at a different virtual reality world, so look out for that. I'll be blogging about it later today or tomorrow, and you can join us then. And uh, I'm just going to head on over right now. Hey, Drax, we're going to head down to the basement. I don't think he's here yet. Oh, he's here. He teleports and I run. Oh, sorry, my, my, my mic was... was... Okay. <laughs> oh, there's somebody here. Hi. Lucas. Hi, Lucas. I was going to say, uh, the Urban Art Experience, the, the, the URL, once you see it later in the chat, in the... or if you go to Atlas... Um, or if you go to my stream, I have it in the description. Right. Hey, here's Lucas. What's happening, Lucas? Welcome. Lucas is just hanging out here. All right. So this was pretty cool. What do you? What did you think? Your. What is the uh, the strawberry audience say to all this? Um, not much. Just uh, just a couple of questions here and there. Nothing that uh, important. There's one person that was really impressed with pra pra Patrick Moya's work. And I yeah. shared their, his Twitter and, and wiki in the chat so they can check him out. I'm definitely going to go visit him in Second Life as well. I didn't know about him in SL. So definitely. No, me, uh, uh, me neither. And it's interesting because I'm running around there and, and you know, I'm saying like, oh, it's so cool that people, uh, you know, everybody uh, without an art background can just make stuff. Yeah. They go, hmm, <laughs> here's somebody who has an art background, is actually an established artist since the 70s. Yeah. <clears throat> so a couple of quick things. And mm -hmm. first of all, here is this book, The Three Body Problem, which I'm completely obsessed with. And what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to actually read this book live in Sansa on a live stream, one hour per week only. So cumulatively, you have basically a book on tape. I'm just going to start May 1st, which I think is a Tuesday. So it's going to be Tuesdays. Okay. Um, okay. This is a crazy book. It's unbelievable in scope. And I encourage everyone to, to pick it up. It's a trilogy. Adam Frisbee actually got me into this. I saw you guys Science chatting Space. on Twitter. Yeah, I just finished the third one. I mean, it's crazy. And what's interesting is in the third book, this was written in China already in 2006, I believe, and the third one in 2010. And the crazy thing is in the third book, uh, 
Van Gogh's Starry Night plays a big role, the painting. And I don't know if you know this, Strawberry, but there was a machinima in 2007 where somebody built in Second Life, Robbie Dingle built mm-hmm. in Second Life the painting in 3D oh. um, and then took a picture from the from the front. So the two-dimensional image really looks like the painting, but it's actually built on an, on an actual sim. And I was wondering if the author actually thought about that when he wrote it. But anyways, I'm getting off a tangent. So people, if you have um, requests or ideas, what you would like to see in Sansar, please let me or Strawberry know in the chat or on Twitter. Tweet to us. Um, let us know. Now that Sansa is slowly leaving the beta stage and, and more people are coming in, um, we we want you to come and hang out and we want you to participate. Mm-hmm. The purpose here is to welcome new people and to, to give them a voice. Uh, and so Jub Jub Forder, I'm talking to you right now, who's watching on YouTube. If you don't show up next Saturday, I'll be very disappointed. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, yeah follow, follow both of us on Twitter. We're very active there. We chat about Sansar there. So you can, you know, engage in conversations there with us. Uh, and we will announce during the week what we're gonna, what's going to be happening uh, in Atlas Hopping the next the next Saturday. So yeah. you'll know ahead of time what we're doing. Can I make an announcement about Monday? Yeah, one quick thing real mm-hmm. quick. What I'm trying to do is to by, by Monday or Tuesday, I'm trying to uh, or we uh, trying to have established what is going to be the theme for the next Atlas Hopping. But sometimes it gets busy and sometimes it's fairly last minute. And, mm-hmm. you know, I also noticed that people, um, you know, there is a group of people who, who are looking forward to the next thing. But a, a lot of people decide sort of last minute if they have time and then they kind of hop in. So I don't see it. Um, I, I, I tend to be obsessed with with having sort of many weeks planned out. But mm-hmm. sometimes it doesn't work that way. And that's why I'm saying if you guys have a last-minute idea, uh, tweet it to us. Um, for example, Strawberry and I, we built that world in, in under 10 minutes, which I think was really one of the uh, uh, a highlight. That was um, a cool and, episode. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. We might we might do So So you were saying something about Mondays. Is there something happening? So this Monday, you and I are going to another virtual world, and we're going to be – What? We're going to be with a with a guide who's going to take us on a tour of another virtual reality, social virtual reality world. Oh I don't know if we're going to, we should name it, but I'm going to blog about it later today or tomorrow if you want to follow okay. us. Are you going to stream it, Drax? The tour? Well, let's not name it because here's the analogy. It's like I'm a musician, so it's like Fender... I'm playing a Fender guitar, and I'm not. While I'm playing the Fender guitar, I'm not telling uh, my audience that I'm going to go uh, be at the Gibson store next Monday, and, uh, <laughs> or I don't know. Well, don't I'm going to I'm going to name mean, it in my blog post later today or tomorrow, yeah. so they'll know what's they'll be expect. It'll be at Monday at 9 a.m. PST, so you can watch our live streams or join us in the virtual reality world if you're in it. It will be announced later today. Right, and that's also a world, by the way that is <clears throat> compatible with you can go in without a, a headset right. and this is so important and I'm not saying that Linden Lab made a mistake because I, I think it's completely understandable that they marketed Sansar in the beginning as a VR world but it's a sticky um, misunderstanding in the Second Life community yeah. that people think they can only go in um, uh, with a headset. No, that's not the issue. I think actually the bigger issue is that your computer has to be super powerful. You need a super new graphics card. But uh, but so yeah, VR is not the hindrance actually. So Yeah, I mean, I'm doing all these places in desktop, so. Right. And Jump Jump Porter here on YouTube is saying, yes, dear. He's talking <laughs> to you, I think. I'm mad at him. He was watching your stream. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jump, get off the stream. <laughs> You're not allowed. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to be off, so I will see you on Monday, okay? See you on Monday in that other virtual reality world. Look at Naya. (laughs) She's waving through the window. Hi. Wait, Naya? What? She's right behind you. (laughs) Oh, my God. Hello. (laughs) Naya, I'm... Wow, but now you can hear, actually, the occlusion. Say something, Maya. And Naya? Something, Naya. (laughs) 
Indeed. Totally hear how the how the window is muffling this. Yeah, yeah. very cool. That's your imagination. <laughs> no, go back in your room. Hurry up. I was Naya, I have to rebuild the experience <laughs> and put your arcade down here. I have to put the arcade down. Okay, I'm off. I'll see you, see you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye, Strawberry. Take care. I love you. We love you, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was it for episode 33, guys. Thanks for joining us today. We will be back next Saturday with more Atlas Hopping. And you guys can join me on Monday as well. I'll be streaming at another virtual reality world. Uh, so looking forward to that. I will blog about it later today. Check my blog. And that's it, guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.